Okay, now we're going to take our Stonehenge picture and we're going to take it to another document. As you can see on my tabs, I already have the Chapter 3 Start document open. If you don't have that open, go ahead and do so so that we can move between these two documents. Okay, I'm going to take my Move tool and I'm going to click on my image inside the canvas area and I'm going to drag it up to the tab called Chapter 3 Start. When that becomes active, you'll see the picture come up. I can drag my cursor down and you'll see the cursor changes appearance and I'm going to let go and I can see my Stonehenge document. You'll notice now in the layers panel I have my ocean layer which was already in the document and now I have my Stonehenge layer that I dragged from my other document. Now I'm going to want to resize this so that it will fit inside my picture. I'm going to put this Stonehenge up there on the cliff next to the water. So we need to resize this. I'm going to choose edit, free transform, and up on my options bar, I'm going to link the width and the height so that when I change the size of it, the proportions will stay constrained. So I'm going to click and drag until I can see the bounding box on my image. And I want to be able to see both the horizontal and the vertical bounding box. And I'm going to hover over the top left corner until I see my resize arrow. And I'm going to click and drag to resize my Stonehenge. Now I'll have to move it back and then get my resize arrow again until it becomes a manageable size. Remember my goal is to put it up here on the cliff in the back. So I'm getting my resize arrow and I'm resizing from the corner. And I want it to get to where it actually looks like a realistic size. Now you'll notice that the bounding box is much larger than the actual image of my Stonehenge. Remember I'm working with the layer mask because we did a non-destructive edit. Our background is actually still there. So the image is actually larger than what we see with just the Stonehenge portion. To expedite this process, you could zoom out, Command or Control minus, until you see the bounding box of the Stonehenge layer, and then quickly resize. Zoom back in, Control or Command plus, and finesse the size and the placement. So I'm going to continue to resize this until I get it to where it'll actually fit up here on the cliff. And when I'm happy with my size and my location, I'm going to go ahead and hit my check mark here on the top right on my options panel, or I'm going to decide that I don't want to keep it and I want to start over. Or you can press return. So this is one of those commands that you have to commit to or change your mind before you can move forward. So I'm going to go ahead and press my return key or my enter key. And now I've got my Stonehenge placed in my other document. It's now its own layer, and I was able to resize it with the free transform tool.